Welcome to Greenwood Forest Park here in North Wales. It's our first ever visit to Greenwood. And we're here for a coaster cred. A coaster cred which is just through the trees there. You might be able to see it. It is green to be fair. Which is the Dragon. Dra green Dragon? The Green Dragon. Now it is a very unique coaster and one of the more unique coaster creds you're likely to get. Um, they call it the very first people moving, uh, people powered roller coaster. And you'll see why when we get close to it if you're not familiar with this coaster. There's a few other bits and pieces here. Water slide, little boat ride, loads and loads of play areas for Litlands. Obviously Cody and Kurt is with me today. Yeah. It's the first time we've been out as a trio in six to eight weeks. It's been so long um, and Cody still has a broken foot so we will be taking it quite slowly to be fair with you. We'll try and get you on as many of the attractions as we can. I think really there's only gonna be a couple with the main one being the coaster which has just flown past us there. Probably the little boat ride and maybe the water ride if we're allowed to take you on board of there. So yeah, sit back, enjoy. If you've never been here before, it looks incredible. Just from walking in, it looks absolutely incredible. Brand new coaster cred just through the trees there. Here is the Green Dragon. Now we're taking turns to go on this because unfortunately with Cody's broken foot there is no way he's going to be able to do all these stairs here. But as you can see the train is currently sitting right there at the moment and what will happen is everyone that's getting on will get on into this here and you'll see it just sort of roll down the hill and pull the train back up with it. It's quite ingenious really. Here we go. I have to say, this coast is not brand new, but it is immaculate condition. Absolutely immaculate condition. Kurt's going on it first. So the people come down here, they've queued, so you queue right over there. And then they come down here, and then they get off just sort of here, and then walk all the way back round up, and get back on the coaster. It's quite a lengthy process. It's not a case of just queuing and getting on. You have to power that thing back up. And as it gets to the bottom here, it stops. Just like that. Very smooth motion, I have to say. Very smooth. I'm surprised it breaks so quick. Yeah, it's it's just sort of slow, isn't it? Nicely. And then everyone gets off and comes down the stairs here, and then they have to walk all the way along here and all the way back up those stairs to go get on the ride. That's where Kurt is now. Now you can't see a lot of this coaster as it sort of flies down, but here's the final turnaround point before it snakes off back to the start. Quite a bit of pace to it. What do you think? It was quite quick. It was and quite smooth. quick. Quick and smooth. It's a good little coaster. So I'm going to go on it a bit later when it stops raining because I have a feeling that the POV Kurt got, which I will include regardless, uh, is going to have some... Um, Drops, it's got some water drops on the lens, so we're gonna go. But I'm gonna go on it later. It's too much for you, Cody. He's got yeah. broken foot. That's yeah, it. with his <laughs> foot. Oh, we're just taking a little slow plod today. Nothing too um too strenuous, to be honest. Just a little slow plod around. We have no idea what to expect from this place and what else is here, and um, anything we do come across. So we'll be covering it for you. Coming around from the Green Dragon coaster. Look at this. So there's a little run down the bottom there. Um, unfortunately, Kurt and I are too big to go on the slope run. Um, the green, what's it called? Green? Green run. I think it's called the giant green one, the small green one. So you sit in a, a effectively a plastic tub. We will show you it later and you slide down brushes, but we're both too big for it. Um, and of course, Cody can't get up there to go in it. But look at that place. It has a massive, goes right up into the hills. It does say you can accompany children in there later. So I might accompany Kurt in. That's not really work. I think, that's how, I think that's how it works. You're a child, Kurt, you're a child. Anyone else? And we'll go and have a little look around the play area. So we don't really know what to expect. We're taking it slowly because of Cody. But it's beautiful here. I know it's raining, but it is beautiful here. Surroundings are lovely. Um, you know, you couldn't ask for a better setting for, for a forest park. You really couldn't ask for a better setting. 
um, onwards we go, onwards we go. We're gonna cover the whole ground, then we'll come back and do some more riding. No. You're right there, Cody. Yeah. Keep and dry. Oh. It's not that dry, it's dropping in my hair. But... So it is another huge play area. Huge play area. We're just looking at it, it is really raining here at Greenwood. Really, really, really raining. So we're just sort of getting some shelter underneath um underneath here whilst looking at the uh whilst looking at the play area. But it's huge, isn't it? You'd actually enjoy this still, Cody, I think. I would. But what have you done? Nothing. You're walking a bit lopsided with one shoe as well. Yeah. yeah. So it is nice. It's nice to get back out the three of us. It's the first time we've been out as a as a free for what six, seven weeks, eight weeks. Yeah, it's been Might long. be a couple of months now, Cody. Yeah. And we've ended up somewhere new. We wanted to come somewhere new today, which is in the Greenwood in well, North Wales. Oh, we just can't wait. Can't wait. But let's stay dry for a bit before yeah. we head somewhere else. We've made it to the top end, which is the maze, which is all on boards. I like a good maze. You know I like a good maze. Unless it's at Noah's Ark. No, I don't like a good maze. Is there hints? Oh, no. You have to, like, Do not fall off the edge, Cody. I'm going to. I'm planning it in my head. I'm going to go that way. Well, if you're going that way, I'm going this way. You can go this way. I've got a wet foot. So it's just gone on my foot. Actually, this is quite cool. Yeah, we'll get there. Is it? No, see, that's a dead end there. Although you can see, you should be able to see the dead ends quite easily. No, I can. That's why I said let's not go this way. But oak was the answer to the last one. Oh, right. But is it a dead end? Right, okay. So there are actual dead ends here. It didn't look like there was, to be honest. It looked like you were following some sort of nature trail, but we've just managed to walk straight into a dead end. So, um, Cody, we're going to have to go a different way. Oh, there's a dragon there. Look, let's go see the dragon. Now then, we can clearly see that uh, that is the wrong way. A million percent the wrong way. But look, we found the dragon. Look at this, look. And it comes right the way around here, and we can see its tail here. Very unorthodox style maze, this one. Usually you have sort of hedges and up, but you can actually sort of gauge where you're going in it. Doesn't mean you're not going to get lost though. Kurt just sent me down a dead end. I think he did it on purpose. But he sent us me, well, he sent me around there, because Cody's walked off with him while I'm taking some pictures as we go. He sent me the wrong way, they've actually made it to the exit. We're heading round now, we're heading round now. So there are little, little signs and sort of little things around, you can get little answers and things as you go. Obviously they're in Welsh as well, we're in Wales. Some of these dead ends like this one, and this one you can see really, really easily. Some of them actually, even like this one here, not quite so easy to gauge. Not quite so easy to gauge. But yeah, that's the maze, that's the dragon maze. Don't jump across. I didn't do that. I didn't do any jumping. Did you do any jumping, Cody? It's the entrance. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> so we come out, we went in the exit then from the bottom yeah. and we've come out the entrance. Well, we still made it. Yeah, we still made it through. We so still made it through. Still yeah. Not as big as I thought it would be. Uh, no. Um, and I didn't do any <laughs> jumping across platforms either. Not I just want to point that one out. No jumping across platforms. A little dragon maze. So these are quite cool actually, Kurt. So you've got little single ones which steer from the back and then you've got double ones which steer from the front. Yeah. We might be a bit big. There are a couple of adults oh, pushing one round there at the moment, but I think they're regretting that. And there's no upcharge for them. No, I think they're regretting that. There's no upcharge for them. They are included. It does look amazing yeah, fun to be to fair. And Cody, you can't take us on board. Uh, no. Should we send Kurt round? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. I don't think he's feeling it sadly, but part of me says we should send him round. Everyone will say I'm mean in the comments like they were for Cody for putting him on lumber jump. Or whatever it's called now, high striker. <laughs> he got, enjoyed that, you can tell. I got loads of, oh, I can't put him on there. Do I like? Uh, Look what you did without me, look. Yeah. Yeah. He went safer on lumber jump. <laughs> Might be a smidgen wet for the uh, giant jumper today. Smidgen wet, yeah. Kurt. 
But Kurt is actually quite desperate to go on this one. Am I? You just said you were. Right, so we're heading into the Enchanted Boat Ride. I have to be honest, I have no idea what to expect from this. Yeah, Absolutely none. I'm guessing we can go on it. That's... I'm guessing we can go on it. Whoa. I guess we can. I have no idea what to expect for it. But as I said, look at the surroundings. It's just beautiful. There's a big slide there as well. That looks a bit like Lightwater Valley's one, Kurt. Oh, we've actually got a row as well. Have we got a row as well? Oh, we actually have to fight. Oh, oh, we have to row! Okay, oh, can't wait till we're on board this. This is going to be worth it. This looks hilarious. So Kurt and I are going to go in the front and Cody's going to go in the back. I have to say, I don't think, I think mean, one paddle's pretty useless. Have you ever seen those comedy sketches where you just go around in circles? So the little ropes look that come down and you pull yourself around. Tell you what, if one of us don't go overboard, this is going to be a good day. Right, Kurt, we're at the front. Cody is pulling. You're pulling. <laughs> you pull the ropes as we go. There we go. Look at this. Look, we'll try and take in some scenery while we go as well. Because that would help, wouldn't it? Why are they so close together? Let me pull this one over. <laughs> you can't. Uh oh, I hope you got good grip on that, Kurt. Keep your fingers inside in case you lose them. But I've seen people go around and not got very far. Can I use a tree? <laughs> if you need to, but I think Cody's paddling. Oh, yeah, we won't use a tree. We won't use a tree. Oh, ow. You flung the branch at <laughs> <in> my head. <laughs> Ready? We're going. <laughs> we just look like idiots. Anyway, this is the enchanted boat ride. So we're going to look for something enchanted along the route here. <laughs> I'm not sure what that enchantment is going to be. <laughs> Will the ropes seem really far that way? It's all right, we're all right, we're all right. So here we go, look, we've got some lovely little fairy houses. I think I saw some fairies. Ooh! Man overboard, man overboard. There we go, there we go. So we've got a nice little fairy house here, look. And then we've got a... Uh, none of a lot else to go on. We're catching these people up because they're going really slowly go. And just get a bit of effort behind these ropes, look. Oh, look, 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 look. Is that a troll? Is that a gnome? Oh, I think it's a gnome right now. Oh, little fairy doors. I love fairy doors. I love fairy doors. Oh, oh you f idiot, Cody. You literally just stopped us. No, I <laughs> He just held it I stopped and us. stopped. No, he held it. Was it was me. I held it. He held it. I turned around. He had his arm on both of them. I held it till we stopped first. <sighs> Suck. <laughs> right, can I take in some of this scenery, please? Yeah, we'll stop just for you. Here you go. Thank you. you Thank you. We'll stop, but we're stopping. Um, has anyone taken any photos? I don't know if anyone's taking photos. Right, we need to go forward, cut. Yeah, that's it. I got it. We'll stop at each section. Just I think we should do this again. Maybe, well, I don't know about our own second time. Looks like there's a queue, but I think we should definitely do this again. This has been, this has been ultimate exercise, Kurt. And and no one's fallen out, which I have to say is quite impressive. You paddling, Cod? It's all right. We're, we're, no, look, we can slowly cruise to the rope. No, I want to crash into them. Quick. You just put a paddle up my backside. If you just give me a wet butt, Cody, I swear to God, I'm going to kick you when we get out. You're the one. You're the one with a broken foot, not me. Unbelievable. You see what this boy's doing? Ow! <laughs> poking me up the bum. Picking you up like a pizza. Right. What do you think of that boat ride? Good. That's good fun. Apart from Cody holding on, although well, apparently Kurt was holding on as well. Yeah. Everyone was holding on, stopping us. The rope back at him. And then Cody sits me up with a paddle up my backside. <laughs> not funny, not funny. So we do actually have some wild birds down here. We weren't expecting to see any birds. Wasn't expecting to see any birds at all, to be honest, but there are some here. Signs in Welsh, so I don't, I don't know what they are. Oh, 
They are some sweet colours, aren't they? Bless them, they're really cool. Right, I see a big water slide through here. I don't know whether it's open today. It's big it's oh, it does. Okay, it is. It is open. And I have to say, I'm quite tempted by the water slide. Let's go and see how wet you get. So I think this is the same as the one at Lightwater Valley. You've got a couple of shorter drop ones, and you've got the indoor, the indoor one around there. But there's a lot of water. I've got you in my legs, all right. Just be quiet. Don't mind. We ready for the slide? Some slide love here going on. Can't see the boys at the bottom. Well, Cody, I got a shot from the top, but I wasn't allowed to hold the GoPro going down because we had to hold on. With two hands. I had to hold on with two hands. I don't really know why, to be honest. Um, but there we go. Yeah. Shot from the top. You can't go on, sadly. So Kurt's going on now, uh, which is why I've kept hold of the GoPro. That's quite fun. I have to say, it's quite fun. I would question the colour scheme for the kind of neutral, because everything else has been really, really neutral green. Green, yeah. yeah, I have to say, I would expect it to be green. I, I think it's the same around. as the ones at Lightwater Valley um, in, in terms of designing everything. And uh, yeah, it rode really well. Yeah, it did ride really well, but yeah, I wasn't allowed to take you on board that, I'm afraid. So, what you saw at the top is that's all you're getting. Yep. That's all you're getting. And here's a close up of the slide. Yeah, it's just a bright colour, isn't it? For We've pretty seen everything else we've gone around. It's been very natural sort of wood effects. Coaster's green. It just seems really vibrant, this. Really, really vibrant. So I said, you've got to hold on. Uh, to be fair, that first dip, I don't know whether we'll see a, a good picture of it here, but that first dip really is, um, really is quite a jumper, actually. I don't remember it being that, um, being like that on these. It is quite fun. Good amount of water coming down. You can probably hear they release the yellow one first, so I can hear people screaming the yellow one. And then, yeah, you go over that first dip. It's not for light, to be honest. Lovely slide, rides really, really, really well. I have to say, that was great fun. And it can hold to 150 kg a boat, um, which would be all right for me and Cody, but again, sadly, Cody is sat up there playing on his phone. This one's Kurt's ride. So we've got some art area, pyro art, we've got some uh, face paint as well. What do you think of Slycut? Yeah, it's great. It's yeah, good. it's alright, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a colour. It's quite bright, but... Quite bright, that. bright yeah, for an eco park. So you'll think everything else here is green and brown. And that's bright red right in the middle of the park. Strange colour, but I actually really enjoyed that, really enjoyed that. That was really good fun. Right, I think it's time now to stop raining. I'm going to head down to the coast and get my cred on there. Go on, Kurt. So he's been lifting the concrete block. I have to say though, when that bounced, if you were standing underneath it and we were a bit tall, sign to your head, Cody. Yeah. And you would injure yourself on that as well. I didn't injure myself oh, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, he would, yeah. Right, enough of that. It's back to the coaster for my very first ride on this. You've been on it. Yeah. You liked it? Yeah, it was good. It's not raining Short, now either. Quick and easy. Short and sweet. That's what we like, that's what we like. Let's head back on the Green Dragon. Here we go, my first ride on the Green Dragon Coaster. I don't know how long, Kurt queued about half an hour for this. Can't take buggies up here, it's not a problem. He said it's definitely not suitable for Cody. I have to say the steps the other end are quite bad. What's this thing? That's a bit about the woodland. Oh yeah, yeah, Cody's not coming up here. Oh, right, I can see the edge of the queue. So we'll get a bit closer, and then whilst we're on the coaster, we'll explain exactly what it does and how it's doing it. So the people are loaded on to the car. You might be able to just see that people are getting off the car down the bottom, the, the train or down the bottom. And from the car then, it uses the gravity to pull it down to lift the train back up. Which when these people are cleared down the bottom, you will see shortly. Certainly one of the more unique coaster creds this Green Dragon. There you go, she's going in now. Close the door and it starts to go down. Yeah, I know, I've seen it. It's not really. It looks 
So here's your sign, the world's first people powered coaster. And then we've got to walk all the way back up there to go over there. So you walk up the hill twice, but how cool is this though? We're just about to get on. 20 people per ride, four in front of us. Let's do this. So now, after queuing on a hill, which we had to walk up, we've then been lowered, and now we're going back up to queue on a hill. Oh, and this is the whole reason why Cody isn't coming on this, because I'm struggling. Oh. Now then, as you can see, you get put in there at a really sort of odd position, so there's no picking seats when you get up here. I don't know how much I'm at, to be honest, on this little junior coaster. But, cred to cred, one of the more unique ones you're going to get. Here's the train. Let's head on board. It's tight now. It's definitely tight. Not one for Cody, but uh, one day he can come back at any time and go on this. But let's take you on the ride now on the Green Dragon. You're looking forward to this. Oh, now cuts to this pretty quick. So that was the Dragon Coaster. I really enjoyed that as a cracking little roller coaster. That would fit in any family park, to be honest with you, let alone, um, you know, more of a forest sort of park like this with very little other rides. We didn't notice this on the way through, but there is a barefoot trail. You think it's just a name, but no, no. You've got to take your shoes off to walk down it. It's still brick. <laughs> and it's brick and concrete. Should we do it, Kurt? No. I'm quite tempted, you know. No, it's too cold to be taking my socks and everything off. I'm quite tempted by this. Barefoot. You're going on alone. Stones. You're going alone. No I just want to see these people come out here. Hold on. There's a lot of bark though. There's, There's some bark there. there, yeah, that, that could be painful. Splinters. It does clearly say no shoes. He seems okay. He seems okay, Kurt. <laughs> He seems okay. She. All right, she's in absolute agony. That sealed it for me then. That's a flat no. On to the next thing. There we have it, Greenwood Forest Park here in North Wales, our very first visit to the park um, to try the brand new coaster, well I say brand new coaster, brand new coaster to us, new coaster credit to us, the Green Dragon which is just behind us there, the People Moving Coaster. It is a beautiful location here in North Wales, it really really is and we've had a bit of rain today and it's a little bit overcast but certainly you know even on a day like this it's still stunning, the scenery is stunning, the play areas although we're not really going in them obviously are massive they really are and there's loads of them as well i can see why it's so popular here um i would say it's on the high end of the price list 19 pound 50 for an adult i think it's only like 50p cheaper for a child you get a bit cheaper if you book online but there is a lot here to do and i can understand if you've got a lot of um uh, smaller groups in your family smaller children in your family that they would just bounce from you know from play area to play area to play area continuously all day you then throw in the coaster behind us here and then you throw in the little boat ride you've got the 
a jumping bean as well, uh, the bean bag, you had the water slide. You would probably have enough to do. You really would have enough to do. That thing is really, really unique. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It just sort of glides down the track. Um, it's got some nice sharp corners. It's really comfortable as well. A really unique roller coaster. I'm glad to have that on my collection, especially as obviously it is located in the UK. So yeah, Greenwood, massive thumbs up, massive thumbs up for Greenwood. We've had an amazing time here today. Um, I think obviously we have come for the coaster cred, I won't lie to you, that is our main reason for coming here. But we've enjoyed the boat ride, we had great fun on the boat, didn't we Kurt? Yeah, we had great fun on the good. boat and even the water slide as well, although we couldn't film on the water slide because I had to hold on with both hands. Um, had an amazing time on that, that's a great, great water slide. If you're in North Wales, or even to be fair, because it's you know it's not too far from the from the mainland. If you're thinking about visiting Blackpool or anything, maybe take a detour, head down to Greenwood. It's probably a little gem down here on a nice day, even on a rainy day. There's plenty for the family to do. Thank you for joining us today here on UK Theme Parks, our very first visit to Greenwood. We'll see you next time.